Hello, let's do one up, puzzle 199. Wow, we're I think we're gonna do the thing where 199 is 9 by 9 and 200 is 10 by 10, so get ready for that. This one might be difficult. Uh, let's hit play here. Ooh, okay, so we have some blank cells, which helps out. But um, so what we're doing is each row and column has been potentially split only only a couple times by um, bold borders. And that splits the rows and columns into segments. Uh, a, a segment of length n has the digits 1 to n exactly once each. Uh, so we need 1, 2, 3 exactly once each here. We need 1 and 2 exactly once here. And then 1 through 7, it looks like here. All right, let's get started. Um, we need 1, 2 here. This is the 1, this is the 2, because we have a 2 there. Um, What's some, like, easy stuff to do here? I might just pencil this because it's hard to scan. So I'm just going to pencil the low digits. We need 1, 2, 3 here, 1, 2, 3 here, 2, 3 here. There's a 1 all the way down there. This can't be a 3. This is 1, 2 because of the short segment there. This is our 3. Um, this can't be 1, 2. So this is 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Um this is not two or five, so this is one, three, four. Let's see, we need one three here, it sees this two all the way over here. We need one two here, it sees this three. We need one, two, three here, it does not see the one and two. This is one, five, six, seven. So this is one, six, seven, I guess. This is five six seven because it's not a one. This is one five seven. And this is only five long, so this is one five. So it can't be six or seven. Any other like obvious things to mark? Yeah, here we need one two. We need one two three. We need two three. That's a oops, sorry. I hit pause. Sometimes I accidentally pause and when I try to click the top cell. That's a two three pair across this entire column here. So one two and three are taken care of. So this can't be two or three. So this is one. Sorry, yeah, one is taken care of as well. So this starts at four. This is four or five only because of the five length. Um, this is one two three five. This can't be three or four. So this is one two or five. Hmm. We're almost limited on where four, well we are limited on four where four can go, but only put to two cells, not one cell. Um Oh, this can't be six or seven. This is a five length segment. So this is our one. And that places the five and the seven and the six. Nice, okay. Um that's not a five. Okay. Um so I got this one. So this is two, three, four. So this is only two, four. It sees this three all the way over here. This is two, three. It sees this four. This is two, three, four. Hmm. Here we need one, two, one, two, four, five. This is one, four, five. This is one, two, five. This is two. Oh, this can't be one, two, or three. So this is only four, five. Ooh, that's a four, five pair. Right, we have the two three pair, we have the one. That makes a four five pair. Six is gone. These are seven, eight, nine. This is only seven long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven. This can't be eight, because there's an eight already. So that's nine and that's eight. Okay. What is this one? One can't be two. So one four five. Oh, it can't be five either. Yeah, so it's just down to one four. That's a one, two, four triple here. I'll explain why this is a one, two, four triple, because I think it can be confusing when this form. Um, so the question is, how many unique digits do we need for three cells that, that all can't repeat? It's not a trick question. We need three unique digits for three cells that can't repeat. These three cells can't repeat. So what are the three unique digits I'm going to be putting into these three cells? Well, this volunteers to be one or two. So we can put one or two. That's, that's two unique digits. This involves two or four. The two we've already accounted for as a unique digit. So the four is a third one. And then this is one or four. We've already accounted for the one and the four. So that's three unique digits. There are only three unique digits that these cells are volunteering to be. 
Um, and so one, two, and four will end up in some order in these three cells. The only thing we know is that this won't be four, this won't be one, and this won't be two. But we know that one, two, and four will be accounted for in these three cells. So we can't put any more one, two, fours in the row because that one, two, and four will be in these three cells in the row. So if one, two, and four are gone, that means one, two, three, four, six, eight are gone. So this is five, seven, nine only. I'm going to mark that five, seven, nine. This definitely can't be a nine. I think this is seven long. Um, this also can't be a nine. This is seven long. So the nine has to end up there. Very nice. And these are these are a five seven pair. Okay. So what's next? One, two, three, five, six. What about this column? It's just one, two, and five, and this can't be two or five. So this is our one. That's not a one. This is down to two, five. This one takes one out of here and one out of here. So that's our three, leaving one, two pair. That three comes back over, making this a four. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We need six and seven. These both can be either. So we'll just mark that. Um, this six, seven pair and this five, seven pair It's interesting. It does mean that we can't put sevens in any of these cells, but we already couldn't. So it's, I guess the, oh no, that is interesting. This, this row needs a seven. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven long. We can't put a seven in either of these because if you look this six, seven pair, there's going to be a seven involved. One of these will be seven. This five, seven pair, one of these will be seven. So those sevens are going to resolve like this or they'll resolve like this. That's the only way that's going to happen, because they can't repeat in the columns, they can't repeat in the rows, and we do need two of them. We need a seven for this row, we need a seven for this row. They're going to end up here and here. So we cannot put a seven down here also, because that would be two, th th there's already a seven either here or here. That's going to use up the sevens here. So the seven ends up right there um, for this row. Um, it's like, called an X-wing. Let's see, we need a, in Sudoku they call it an X-wing, I don't see why we call it any different here. Because um, it kind of forms an X, right? There's there's two legs to the X, either the sevens are on this leg of the X, or the sevens are on this leg of the X. I'm going to look at this column here, we need one, two, three, five, six. Six is limited. Six, this is the only place that can be six in this column, because the rest are shorter segments. Um, so here we need one, two, three, five. Mm, I'm not sure I like that. One three five one two five. I'll I'll mark it. One three five one two five. Um. Let's see. Two four one two four five. Okay, I'm missing something important here. This row needs one through five. Are there any like big digits that we haven't placed yet? We need a six in one of these two. Okay. So what's kind of our next step here? Oh, I have this four. <laughs> so that places this one and this three. Darn. I hate missing silly stuff like that, but it's a big puzzle. Um, so that one gives us the two, which gives us the four. So this one, two, four resolved, see? It uses one, two, and four in some order. That's one. Um, so the four looks down, giving us two and three. I think that's really all I needed. Um, this two look, no, no. Uh, this two looks over, giving us five and two here. That gives us one and two here, three and one. That one looks down. This three looks all the way down to this two, giving us three and one. There were a few ways to resolve that. Um, th we have one, two, three, we need four and six here. I'm gonna mark that, four, six, four, six. What do we need here? Three, four, five, this can't be three or four. So this is our five, that's our four, that's our three. Three looks down, giving us five, which gives two, which does resolve our sevens like this, which resolves the six and five like that. That six gives us four and six. 
This is a one. Uh, one, two, three. This is a four, giving us five and two, and we finished. Nice. Not too bad. Yeah, oh, if only I'd spotted, like, I didn't fill up properly on the, f I think it was the four I placed here. Something I placed around here had resolved these, which was would have been very helpful to notice earlier, but that's all right. Um, that's kind of the name of the game. So, yeah, let me know how you did.